thanks to Boston Scientific and the ERS for giving me the opportunity to uh, speak on uh, some practical ex aspects of uh, organizing a uh, uh, summer plastic program based on the uh, experience from uh, Odense in Denmark. Uh, first of all, we should consider how to select and recruit the right patients for the program. Based on available trials and in accordance with the uh, FDA, uh, this is adult patients uh, with severe persistent asthma, which is not controlled on genus step four medication, uh, for example, and usually um, inhaled corticosteroids in combination with long-acting beta-2 agonists. Also, the patients must be considered able to safely <coughs> undergo three bronchoscopies per hospital guidelines. Great care should be taken to ensure that the asthma diagnosis uh, is correct according to guidelines and that the patient's compliance with step four medication is uh, good, for instance, uh, using prescription databases available in some countries. Absolute contraindications comprises uh, having a pacemaker or another implantable electronic device. Also, patients should not be sensitive, that's allergic, to uh, medications required to perform the bronchoscopy, and uh, patients should not be treated twice in the same area. Some individual considerations may apply. Even though pulmonary function uh, should be considered, uh, we have treated patients with uh, FEV1s uh, in the area of 50% uh, of predicted uh, with really no problem. So that can be done. Uh, based on the smooth muscle uh, hypothesis, I think it's best uh, to, uh, I think the best candidates uh, should demonstrate bronchial dynamics. Uh, for example, reversibility or peak flow uh, variability. Um, if heavy inflammation dominates the clinical picture, um, the expected uh, exacerbation after each treatment may be more severe than usual. Of course, comorbidities uh, and uh, differential diagnosis should also be uh, considered individually. For uh, safety reasons, the uh, procedure is uh, postponed if the patients have uh, active respiratory infection or exacerbation, uh, and also, of course, if they have impaired uh, coagulation. Uh, for the procedure, we use the ALEA system, uh, which is a means of uh, delivering thermal energy to the airway via the bronchoscope in order to reduce the airway smooth muscle. The catheter has a tip with expandable wires that fix snugly against the airway wall. Uh, and um, the system is designed to treat airways distal to the mainstream bron bronchus um, with a diameter of uh, three to 10 millimeters. Uh, this is done in three sessions, three weeks apart. Each session will take about f uh, 45 to 60 uh, minutes. Our local uh, flow chart uh, is showed here. Uh, we get patients referred from other uh, specialists. We, in, we evaluate um, the indication and contraindications and um, take care to uh, inform the patient and uh, gain acceptance based on uh, very good uh, and just, um, 
uh, that they understand the procedure uh, uh, very, very uh, well. Um, the bronchoscopy we do uh, in an uh, ambulatory setting uh, through the nose or orally. There are one bronchoscopist, two assistants. Uh, patients can go home after two hours uh, if their um, post uh, bronchodilator FEV1 is more than 80% uh, of the pre procedure value. Follow up is done by phone on the first day, the second day, and the seventh day after each procedure. Uh, we have an uh, outpatient uh, consultation two to three weeks after each procedure uh, to plan the next procedure or to follow up on uh, the effect, which is also done after one to two months. Uh, so, what uh, do you have to do to getting started in your own setting? If you're pioneering your area or country, uh, it's important to get approval from the National Board of Health and the region, uh, regional and the local authorities. You have to assess the potential and although boring, it's important to get funding, it's actually crucial. And as part of this, uh, you need to work on the coding uh, procedures and, uh, and um, uh, all the formalities. Uh, we had uh, uh, a great uh, use of uh, the advice from uh, Boston Scientific in uh, different aspects starting up, so I would recommend that too. So, uh, what is success dependent on? First of all, you need an uh, in-house organization uh, taking care of program training, doctors and nurses, and uh, effective evaluation. And then there might be a, a competition for space and resources. Uh, as a center, you will be very dependent on referral from other specialists in your region. Uh, in our experience, different channels must be uh, used to increase awareness and uh, willingness to refer uh, suitable patients uh, for the program. And this in includes uh, uh, setting up meetings, making guidelines, having clear instructions, and indeed clear rules for follow-up so that uh, the referring physicians don't feel that you're stealing the patients. Uh, in our experience, um, this procedure is very well tolerated. It can be done in an outpatient setting. It's not very difficult actually, but it do require concentration and uh, doing it uh, in an organized way. So uh, just a word of caution, that is the, the very uh, inflammatory patient, sort of, so to speak. Uh, they may have uh, more exacerbation, as I said, and, uh, and, and uh, we have seen that and, and used uh, prophylactic uh, uh, ward admittance actually uh, a few times. Uh, I'd like to thank you from Odense, Denmark.